In Ames, the city council is preparing to vote on a mask mandate. It would require anybody older than three years of age to wear a face covering at more indoor public settings and to wear a face covering outdoors if you can't be more than six feet away from others. However, unlike earlier proposals, this does not carry any penalty for violating this ordinance. If passed, the face covering mandate could go into effect this Friday. The Ames metro area has one of the highest numbers of coronavirus cases per capita in the country, according to analysis from the New York Times. But why pass a mask mandate with no penalty for violating it? KCCI's Chris Gothner is live in Ames with that part of the story tonight. Chris? Well, Stacey, as this meeting gets underway right now, virtually a city council member tells me that the city attorney has advised the council that a mass mandate without an enforcement mechanism would not run afoul of the state, and that's why they're considering that. Governor Reynolds and Attorney General Tom Miller have maintained that cities and counties have no legal authority to implement mass mandates. That has not stopped cities like Des Moines from passing them anyway. Cities have argued they do have the authority to make face covering mandates. Now, earlier we spoke to Dr. John Passion, the chairman of the Story County Board of Health. He's been outspoken about the need for a mass mandate in the area, among other things related to COVID-19. He says he doesn't have a lot of hope that a mask mandate without enforcement would do much, but he says it's better than nothing. Take a listen. I don't think it will do as well as if there's an enforcement. Uh, keep in mind that what they're going to be looking at is um, students and making them uh, wear a mask. And maybe it'll push some of the students over the edge to do it. And they will slow down our cases. Now, the public has a chance to comment on this proposal tonight. We'll tell you what everybody has to say about this as well as any decision the council makes coming up on KCCI 8 News at 9 and 10. But for now, live in Ames, Chris Gothner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. The Story County Board of Health will discuss issuing its own mask mandate next Wednesday. Like the one proposed in Ames, the Story County mask mandate would require a face covering in any indoor public setting, as well as outdoors when people cannot be at least six feet apart. But there are some exceptions. Unlike the Ames ordinance, it would be a simple misdemeanor for noncompliance, and that could mean a fine between $65 to $625.